Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 24, and the word for today is dizzy. So, red colored pencil, fine liner, and white gel pen, and also my Ahuhu markers. Oop, drop that one. Ahuhu being the sponsor of this video. And so I have Y5, YR3, Y4, YR4, BR2, R9, GY172, G9, and GG3, and GG5. And so those are my colors. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started as usual with my sketch. And so, I am going to be doing another portrait. I feel like I've been doing them a lot lately, but I just, I really find that I enjoy doing them. And also genuinely good ideas do come up for these portrait kind of words, in my opinion. And so I really didn't have much of an idea at first for this word, because dizzy is... I don't know. I mean, it's dizzy. I can't really think of anything too creative in a sense for this word. But I think what I'm working with is actually kind of creative. So what came to mind was the song by the Beatles, Dizzy Miss Lizzie. And it's a cool song. I really like it. My mom grew up on the Beatles and she's, she was a huge fan. So I grew up kind of knowing most of the more uh, famous songs like Hey Jude and Lucy in the Sky and Yellow Submarine. But so since I thought of that song from the 60s by the Beatles, I figured I'd go ahead and draw a 60s portrait of a woman and kind of like, I don't know, saying that maybe this is the Lizzie that they're singing about. <laughs> I don't know. And I wanted to do these really cool glasses that I saw, like sunglasses, because big sunglasses were all the rage back then. And I found these beautiful sunglasses on Pinterest that are like petal shaped, like flower shaped, and they were just really cool. So I'm going to put them in there. And then there we go. Pretty much my sketch. It's quite rough still, but I'm going to go ahead and line it because I feel like it's pretty much done. So I'm going to start with these eyes first. And she is sporting some crazy lashes. But well, that's something about the 60s that I've always thought was really cool, was the insane length of lashes back then. So I changed up the design of the glasses just a little bit to something more cloudy-like. So now they look like big clouds on her eyes. <laughs> and I really like it. I like the petal flower look too, but I don't know. I feel like this cloud effect is more fitting. All right, that is my liner. And now I'm going to erase a little bit of the sketch underneath and then begin coloring. And she kind of just looks like a hippie. <laughs> I briefly thought of making this portrait of an actual famous person from the 60s. And for a while I was pretty stuck on Twiggy, who was a really famous model back in the 60s, iconically known for her huge eyes. And I don't think she actually had big eyes, like any bigger than the normal person, but I think she just knew how to enhance them with the proper sort of makeup, like give the illusion that she had huge eyes. All right, and I wanted to give this character freckles. I don't think I've given a character freckles yet on my Inktober series. So it's fun that I thought of it before it ended because I really like doing freckles. And since she has freckles, I figured I'd make her a ginger. And like always, I'm just using the feathering technique where I just kind of take the nib and feather it out. Hence the name of the technique. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, one side done, one more to give. I love coloring hair, I'm not gonna lie but it does get a little exhausting after a while, especially after doing it for 24 days. 24 days, right? Yeah, 24 days. <laughs> All right, finished both sides of the hair, doing her eyebrows with the same sort of orange color, and then her lips are gonna be this super dark, super strong red with a lighter, pinkish hue for the bottom lip. And then I have this spectrum green color for her shades. I'm not sure. It's such a super light, light green color that, I don't know, 
Well, maybe it'll work. It's not too bad. Then I'm going in with this darker greenish color, the meadow green. I'm kind of like trying to give the sunglasses some like, I don't know, shininess, reflection kind of thing going on. That's actually really cool. I think that came out pretty awesome. And then I figured since she had sunglasses on, I wouldn't be giving her eyes a whole bunch of color, but I did want to make them darker just to fill it in, kind of like shading almost. So then I've got this darker gray. There we go. Well, sort of. I don't know. This this eye kind of looks a little weird. Like it didn't come out right. Let me do the other one. Fix it a little bit more. Does it match? I think it matches now. Not completely, but it matches well enough, I think. Sure. <laughs> and then I'm going to color in her shirt green. And then shinies. And even though she has sunglasses on, I'm still putting the shinies in her eyes. And I'm adding some shinies to her hair because even in the highlight area, I chose still quite a darker color. So I figured the added white shiny would really make this hair pop. And that is that. I'm going to go in with my liner and just fix up a few lines though. All right. So I fixed a few of my inking lines and I thought about adding a black background, but this particular piece is feeling kind of bright and light and airy. And I feel like a black background might drag it down in a negative way. So I think I'm going to leave it as is and call it done. Really like it. I'm loving the hair and I really feel like the glasses just kind of pull it all together. And so that's that. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.